Francisco, you could get slapped with the most expensive parking ticket in the country. Would it be fair to force some drivers to pay more than others for the exact same violation? Well, only on five tonight, Susie Steimel explains why that could happen. If you park in the city, you know the feeling. All those citations, you know. Yeah, can you down a one minute, please? Every two weeks, you get one. I'll take that ticket. That's why I was running. That anxious, is my car going to be there when I get back to it? Feeling. My truck got towed this morning. Or just knowing you owe $74 for an expired meter. It's horrible. Like, you're just like, come on, man, another one. Willow Decamp and his wife, Bianca Mueller, know it all too well. Basically, every time that we park, we've been getting parking tickets because we can't pay the meters. And then we can't pay the tickets because they're even more than the meter. Do you have keys? Got them. Yeah. Willow and Bianca moved to San Francisco in September with their two-year-old daughter, Ezra. Starting out, this van was their home. From the minute the meters start until they quit working, I am worried about parking tickets. In January, we had like $1,300 in parking tickets. Now Willow has a job and they're in transitional housing, but they're still digging themselves out of a deep parking ticket hole. I get my $700 for the month and 500 of it goes to the MTA. That's money from the government that I now have to give back to the city. For somebody making one or $2,000 a month, a $500 fine, it may not even be payable. San Francisco Treasurer Jose Cisneros wants to change San Francisco's fines and fees system. His suggestion, low-income residents should be able to pay a percentage of a ticket, not the whole thing. Some of the fines and fees are so large, people can't pay any of it. And so, in fact, the city gets less revenue than, than we've seen in other cities where when you reduce the fine and fee to something that was actually payable, sometimes the revenue to the city increases. To qualify, individuals would have to be eligible for social services. Ideally, the city would be able to look up someone's low income status. Of course, it's all hypothetical right now. At the end of the day, it's really about fairness to everyone and ensuring that uh, people uh, pay a, a flat fee. Paul Rose with SFMTA says Muni's not opposed to the idea. Well, it's too early to say whether or not we would support any of the specific uh, concepts coming out of uh, the discussions. But Rose points out the MTA already provides options for low income residents, like a payment plan or community service to pay off tickets. Willow took part in that already, reducing his $1,300 fine to $300. It is something that has been in place for a number of years uh, to ensure that people who can't pay right away uh, can pay a little bit at a time. San Francisco has the most expensive parking ticket structure in the country. An expired meter here costs $74. To compare, in Oakland, it's $58. In New York City, $65. D.C., $30. And in Boston, $25. So you think a $74 ticket is appropriate? Well, at this point in time in San Francisco, for the rules we have to enforce, it is appropriate. MTA makes $290 million a year in traffic fees and fines. Rose says if the city does change its current program, revenue lost from tickets would have to come from somewhere else. Bianca and Willow hope lawmakers realize this systemic change could be just the ticket they need for a shot at success. It's really hard trying to get ahead when you got to pay parking tickets. In San Francisco, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5. And the next